Deep in the canopy of Madagascar's rainforest lives perhaps the strangest mammal on Earth. The Ai-Ai. Of all the weird, bizarre and frankly alien looking mammals currently living on this planet, there is perhaps one no stranger. Folklore and superstition surround this animal, and have done so ever since it was first discovered. This video will help explain the enigma of this species. First described in 1782 by French naturalist Pierre Sonnerat, the Ai is a type of lemur, which is a primate in the group known as Prosimians, which consists of all the lemurs, lorises and tarsiers. All are separate from the other side of primates, simians, which includes monkeys, apes and humans, and possibly other things. Lemurs are only found on the island of Madagascar, off the coast of Africa in the Indian Ocean and were one of the few mammal groups to reach the island, along with some small carnivores, tenrex, bats, rodents, and even a couple of species of hippo, now sadly thought to be extinct. Being so isolated, and without much competition, lemurs were able to establish themselves in a multitude of different habitats, and exploit the various niches in hugely diverse ways. They range from large and ape-like, like the largest of the living lemurs, the Indri, to tiny and mouse-like, like the petite mouse lemurs, which are counted amongst the smallest of all primates. By default, being cut off in a separate landmass from other types of primates such as monkeys in neighbouring Africa and Asia, lemurs are all pretty weird, but the Ai takes this to the extreme. No other primate is quite like it. Through the course of its evolution, it has adapted to a particular niche in such a refined way that most, if not all, other types of lemur appear quite regular in comparison. The Ai Ai is about the size of a cat, at 40 centimetres in length, with a tail about 60 centimetres long. It also weighs an appropriate 2 kilograms. It's highly arboreal, meaning that it spends a lot of its time up in the trees, and rarely ever comes down to the ground. They are also entirely nocturnal, and sleep during the day in nests which they make out of folded leaves. Being solitary, they only come together for breeding or raising young. Ai Ai's can also mate at any time of the year and hold very large territories, with males covering around 80 acres and females a much smaller size of 20 acres. Like other lemurs, Ai Ai's have a female-based hierarchy as well. The Ai Ai's split off from all the other lemurs and evolved separately, with the closest living relative being the Indri. It's fascinating to think that this is still a primate, and therefore related to us, several times removed of course. Many bizarre attributes of the Ai Ai are factors in its lifestyle as an insectivorous mammal. These types of mammals are all oddballs, which stand out from the crowd. The giant anteater and its relatives are prime examples of this, with their outlandish appearance not really resembling anything else alive today. Pangolins and echidnas are other examples. The Ai Ai's most notable and infamous feature is its long middle finger, which is primarily used for foraging. It's so specialised that it even has a ball and socket joint inside, which allows complete 360 degree movement, so that the Ai Ai has precise control over how it uses it. It uses it to tap along the branches of trees, whilst listening with its huge bat-like ears for any telltale signs and sounds of insect grubs within. This is a method known as percussive foraging, which is such a wonderful term. Once the grub is detected, the Ai Ai gnaws a hole in the tree with its teeth and wrinkles out the hapless prey. Unlike other primates, the Ai Ai has rodent-like incisor teeth which it can use to gnaw away at the bark in order to get at the insect larvae. It can also use these teeth for breaking into coconut husks to get at the milk, one of the Ai Ai's favourite foods. Also like rodents, these teeth continue to grow throughout their lives and suit their niche perfectly. The female anatomy has another strange quirk. The nipples are situated in the groin region, so that if there's a suckling infant, they wouldn't get in the way of the mother's foraging. The hair of the Ai Ai is very long and often silver tipped on the back, which gives it its grizzled appearance. Ai Ai's have essentially filled the role of a woodpecker in Madagascar, as there are no species of woodpecker there, so whereas in other parts of the world a bird would fill this role, in Madagascar it's given to a primate. Even its tail is unique, as it's the bushiest tail of any primate. In fact, the Ai Ai is the world's largest nocturnal primate. Ai Ai's also exhibit a form of convergent evolution, whereby two animals have evolved separately to exploit the same niche. This is the same case for the striped possum, which has evolved a similarly extended middle finger for much the same use. The skeleton of the Ai Ai is equally as unusual as its outward appearance. 
The skull alone almost looks distinctly human from the top, and the fingers are disturbingly proportioned. The middle finger isn't actually the longest of the fingers, but is instead shorter than the fourth digit, which is a larger and more forceful tool in foraging. Whilst the eye is the only living member of the genus Dubentonidae, there was also a larger species which is known only from a few subfossil remains. This was the giant eye, something that would have been amazing and likely terrifying to encounter, with size estimates putting it 2 to 2.5 times the size of the living eye, the size of a medium sized dog. The first human settlers arrived in Madagascar around 2,500 years ago, and the giant eye is thought to have died out around 1,000 years ago, but other than this, little to no information is known about this animal. It became extinct likely due to overhunting and superstition over its demon-like appendage and appearance. The same anatomy that makes the modern eye be so at risk of extinction as well. Amongst the giant eye were other larger species of lemur, now all extinct, including Archaeoindrus, which was the largest primate to have ever evolved in Madagascar, an animal that could have easily rivaled a gorilla in size. Now that would make a great addition to primeval. Sadly, all 17 of these giant lemurs became extinct around the same time, and their lives were almost a complete mystery. Unfortunately, with the 100 or so living species of lemur, over half are now endangered too, and lemurs as a whole are collectively the most endangered group of mammals, with around 98% of them being threatened with extinction. And if that wasn't enough to contend with, the eye is regarded as a bad omen within the beliefs of the locals of Madagascar. It is considered fadi, which is a form of taboo, and this ranges from the animal simply being killed on sight if spotted, or to people moving their entire village away to avoid contact with the supposed evil spirits. They say that if an eye points at you with its middle finger, then you are marked for death. <coughs> All of this, of course, has done nothing to help with the survival of the species, which is listed as endangered, not only because of local folklore and beliefs, but also because of the damage it can do to crops, as well as deforestation something that affects all lemur species across Madagascar. Estimates suggest that there could be as few as a thousand eye left in the wild. Thankfully, despite the risks that face the eye there have been numerous successful captive breeding attempts in zoos, such as Durrell Wildlife Park in Jersey in the Channel Islands, and the Duke Lima Center in North Carolina in the United States. All of these places help aid in the population and education and understanding of the species. There are also reserves and protected areas within Madagascar itself, including the island of Nosy Mangabe, which is a pristine tropical paradise situated on the northeast coast of Madagascar. It was set up in the 1960s as a reserve for the species, and as a popular spot for eco-tourists. Douglas Adams, creator of the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, visited the island searching for the eye for his radio program and book Last Chance to See, which was presented by him and conservationist and zoologist Mark Cowardin. Since then, Mark Cowardian has been back there with Stephen Fry to see the I.I., and many other people too, including naturalist Nick Baker, who have visited the island for a chance to spot the elusive primate. One day I hope to visit as well and catch a glimpse of this wonderful animal. If you're interested to learn more about the I.I., I highly recommend watching the episode of Weird Creatures with Nick Baker called The Night Stalker, which covers everything about this animal and was the catalyst for my fascination with the species. The eye is, and always will be, my favourite animal to ever have existed. It's just so cool. A lot of people may not have heard of it, or consider its appearance repulsive or freaky. I agree that it would make a great Halloween mascot, but I find it endearing and charming and fantastical. There is simply nothing else like it. Thank you very much for listening, and look out for more videos like this in the future. See you then!